Hello everyone. Welcome to Learning Links, a complete firewall and the cyber security training providers. Well, in this particular course, we'll be dealing with the SOFOS. SOFOS is one of the leader as per the Gartner Magic report. So, in terms of network security and packet filtering and all those stuff, SOFOS is the major brand and it's leading up the market. So, the agenda for this particular course will be, we have divided this course into 18 modules and we'll be covering those modules step by step from basics to advanced. In the meanwhile, you will be also getting the lab access and you will come to know that how you can set up your own entire lab and you can practice those things. So, the very first thing is the overview of the UTM or the Unified Threat Management and its features and the steps required that how you can run this particular UTM. Well, as I told you that Sophos is one of the leader in the market. So Sophos provides major security and combine it into the entire package. So Sophos, what it provides is, it provides the major security concern products and what it did is, it just combined it into the entire package and provided you the Sophos box or the Sophos UTM. Now coming up to the deployment aspect, like how you can deploy your particular firewall, the first one is you can directly purchase a hardware appliance with a particular license and you can put up the cable and set up your entire network and you can just start running it. Another thing is that you can set up a software based UTM product. That is you can either you can install it in any of the virtualization technique like either in the virtual machine or ESXi or in the hypervisor and you can start practicing up or you can start control your and you can start controlling your entire network. The other thing is you can deploy this particular into the cloud. You can purchase some of the cloud from any of the vendors like Amazon or anywhere and you can deploy that and you can use it to similar manner to control the entire network. In the next module what we'll be getting is the system settings. How you can initially set up your system, you can put up the host name for that and you can just set up the initial requirement that that particular device should get the internet or should be able to connect to the particular nodes over your network. So in this particular module we will be seeing that things. Now other thing what you will be learning is the definitions. How you can define your objects, how you can define your network and how you can define up your interface, what should be the LAN interface, the WAN interface, the DMZ network and everything the basic things you will be learning in that. The next part which comes up is the routing and the interface. In routing and interface you will be learning about various routing techniques, what all things are to be mapped up and or how your firewall should act or how your firewall should route up the packets over the network or externally or internally. And various routing protocols which you can also configure in this particular box. Another thing which comes up is the network services. In network services you will be learning that how you can configure your NAT, how you can configure your different DNS zones and how you can configure certain DHCP interfaces. So these all things you will be learning in the network and services. So till network and services it was just the basic part that your box should be able to connect to the external network and should be able to ping up the internal nodes. Now moving further we have the network protection module in which you will be learning how you can protect from various attacks and we'll be seeing that how an attacker can attack our network or a certain node 
and how he or she can compromise that particular node and how we can also protect them using the SOFOS UTM. So this we'll be seeing up in the practical. So this SOFOS UTM has its own IDS feature which is used to detect the intrusion and it also has an IPS which is used to prevent from that particular intrusion or that particular attacker. So these all things you will be learning in the network protection module. Another thing which comes up is the web protection. In web protection what you will be learning is how you can filter up certain packets and how you can manage the network or the users so that they should not be able to get compromised or they should not be able to visit certain websites that can be malicious and which can lead up to the entire business risk or the entire network risk. So these all things you will be learning in the web protection module. You will be seeing that how you will be configuring up the policies for certain users and you will be setting up the authentications and how you can centrally authenticate a user or you want to authenticate the user individually. So these all things you will be learning in this particular module of web protection. Now another advanced feature which comes up is the email protection. As nowadays it is mandatory for the corporates to maintain their privacy and to not get compromised either in any form. So for this particular thing the SOFOS UTM also have the email protection system. Well in this particular module we will be learning about certain things like how you can protect your email or if the email is containing certain things like some of the ransomwares or something that can be malicious or that can be hazardous for your network. So how you can spam it or how you can drop that particular packet into the firewall itself before it reaches up to your client or to the end user. So that is how it protects your entire network of the organization. So these all things we will be learning in the email protection module. Another one of the major advancement in this particular UTM is that it is having the endpoint protection. Like suppose you are having the roaming users or your organization is following up the policy of BYOD or bring your own device. So now the things can happen is like suppose a client is there or an employee is there so he is working on his or her laptop that laptop can itself be malicious. So for protecting your entire network from that particular laptop, Sophos provides the endpoint protection. Well in this particular module we will be learning how you can protect your certain nodes or how you can set up the nodes so that if there is any vulnerability or if there is any particular thing which can be malicious to your organization's network so that itself should be scanned and should be dropped inside that particular machine only and even you can set up certain things like you don't want your certain organization's client to access external drives or the pen drives or the flash drives so even you can ban that things also so these all advanced features you will be learning in this particular module. Another one of the major advanced feature which you will be learning in this particular course is the VPNs. How the VPNs used to work, what are the different types of VPNs and how you can configure those VPNs into your particular SOFOS box. Now let's take up this scenario like you are having a particular head office and with that particular head office there are several branch offices connected to that particular head office. Now 
these particular branch offices will be entirely different from each other in terms of network topology and in terms of everything now a user sitting in this particular office wants to communicate from this particular office or a user sitting in this particular office branch office wants to communicate with b3 branch office now what the thing is as comparing the scenario what we can do is suppose there is a sophos box running in this particular office and there is another sophos box running in this particular office and the third one is running over here and these three sophos box are controlled by the head office so what the admin sitting over the head office will do is they will be configuring a site to site vpn in that vpn what it will do is it will allow this particular box to communicate with this particular box over the internet and similarly we can allow this particular box to communicate with this particular box so that is how we can configure our boxes to communicate with each other and even though the branch offices are on the different geographical locations the users under those offices can communicate with each other using the public internet so this we'll be seeing that how we can do this thing another thing which comes under this is the remote access vpn in remote access vpn now suppose there are certain roaming users or a user who used to work from his or her laptop now after going home what he wants to do is he wants to access some of the resources that is there in your office so what we can do is or what the administrator can do is he can set up a remote access ssl vpn using that particular thing the user sitting at his home can communicate with the user sitting in his office so these things can be configured using the vpn and it is one of the major advancement provided by the sophos utm box so we'll be learning these things that how you can configure different types of vpn based upon the network topologies so the another last thing what we'll be seeing up in this particular module is the logging and reporting in logging and reporting we'll be seeing that how we can configure our internal logs and we can even set up our syslog server to configure the syslog server so that our logs can be managed externally over any other resource as logs play the major important role so we'll be configuring the syslog server and as well as we'll be seeing that how we can see the internal logs and another feature what the sophos utm provides is the reporting in this particular reporting we can even generate the automated report and we can follow up those reports and we can analyze what all things are vulnerable or what all things are present inside our network so for more details you can follow up our website link which is mentioned below learninglinks.com and if you want to contact us the number is mentioned over there so i hope that you to make your network more secure i hope that you all will be enrolling for this course thank you thanks for watching